Okay, I'm about a mile from where I'm going, where the car is parked, and um, it's been a pretty tough, tough trip at this point. Uh, as you can see, the sun is pretty much setting. There's only about a half an hour of, of light left, uh, but this area kind of looks like Monument Valley. So it's pretty good. Um, you know, there's a couple things, a couple things that I initially did did wrong probably as I packed too much water. I was told that the water wasn't drinkable, that you needed a filter. Uh, you don't, really don't need a filter. You can actually get water in the town of Supai, and then two miles from that is the campground, which there's a natural spring um, that they've got a pipe and everything. You can fill up all your water and stuff. So there's no need to pack in all the water you need. Um, other things, uh, it was a really good experience, but I would have liked to got to stay there probably a night longer um, just you know to make it down to the Colorado and do some other stuff like that and check out Navajo Falls a little closer up um, but overall one of the you know best experiences I would say of my life just you know absolutely beautiful area and luckily the you know Havasupai tribe allows us to go down there now for a person um, to go down there, for instance, to camp for two nights and to hike down there, it was $75, which is well worth it. If you have a certificate of um, basically proof that you're a Native American and you know you have the paperwork and everything, then you get in free, you can camp for free. Um, for everybody else, they would pay um, for a two-night stay like that would be $25 or $75, so definitely well worth the money.